We're going on YouTube, this shit bought a chocolate bay. It's going to be a quick video, as you guys already know. Okay, I was just perusing the street, y'all, and I saw um, Storm Monroe. He hit his 100K subscribers. I'm like, congrats. Then I looked, Tasha K, she posted something saying congratulations and then shat on all these nigg. I'm like, oh, dang. And then I saw something yesterday she had put on her community page where she said um, she called Storm Monroe the king of YouTube. I'm like, what? But to me, she was taking direct shots at Armand Wiggins. Now, y'all know their backstory, and I'm going to give y'all a little bit. Uh, her thing, well, they connected during the Star Marie thing, and he was, you know, him and Wiley was on Armand's show, and Armand and Wiley was going back and forth, then Tasha K dropped in the chat. You know what I'm saying? So she sort of took him under her wing, and they were cool, okay. or working relationship, whatever. And then he had an interview with Dr. CB's wife, I believe, or daughter, and Tasha K backdoored him and, you know, took it and was communicating with the fam without him even knowing. And I was like, dang, so they fell out over that and probably some other issues as well. But that's sneaky. That ain't no good right there. Like, why would you do that? But she was like his mentor and, you know, she would give him pointers and stuff like that. So speed it on. Him and Tasha fell out. They were, they were, you know, going back and forth a couple of times on YouTube, throwing shots at each other. Then Tasha K picked up Storm Moreau. Now, I don't have no beefs with Storm Moreau. I like Storm Moreau. Storm Moreau, I think he started his YouTube career like 2018. I think he was in his car recording videos, talking about celebrity gossip and stuff like that. So she sort of saw him, a person that she could mold, I guess, or persuade, and she took him under her wing. Then it seemed like Storm Monroe was taking shots at Armand or coming back at Armand for Tasha. And I'm just like, well, dang, that's Tasha's beef. If she messed over Armand, he going to do, he going to, you know, sling his shot. She going to, you know, gun him down back and forth or whatever. And I'm just like, but why get into that beef? And it has nothing to even do with you, even when Storm doesn't even know exactly what took place. And if Tasha messed over him, that's something I wouldn't even get into. But I like both dudes, and congrats, Storm. But Storm Monroe is a different type of guy. He's laid back, chill, just a nice guy. He's easily, I hate to say this, I'm not trying to be mean, I easily manipulate it. Tasha could say certain stuff to him, he'll do it or take advice. Armand, I like Armand. Armand seems like he's a party boy. He cool. He going to do what he want to do, baby. You're not going to tell me this, that. So there are two different personalities. But Armand, just to me, just has more of that swag to where you want to get to know him, you want to watch him. And, you know, you want to know a little bit more about Armand, what's going on, baby. But, yeah. But to me, Tasha, she's very maniacal in how she pick people. She'll go to younger YouTubers, y'all, get in their chat, plop down or jump on their stream yard or their, their uh, platform. And she knows that she can manipulate them into saying certain stuff, into doing stuff, coming at other people, including celebrities, in which she doesn't want to. Or other YouTubers, bigger YouTubers, in which she might have beef for her. So she'll line them up, put them in line, and then, bam, you got your team right there. But I see her angle. She's slick. She know many of these people are eager for success. They're eager to do better, do well. And she's a big YouTuber making this money. They're going to admire her, stuff like that. And I get our mom's pump, but I'm just like, why throw shade? Calling him the king and, you know, king of YouTube, Really? But it's like they're they're both kings at their own right. Armand is entertaining as hell. He do his thing. But I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Storm. I like Storm Monroe. He doing this thing, a black man with a hundred K. Do your thing, bro. The thing is, if you have the backing of of a larger YouTuber, do you work the same? Do you still have you have that extra luxury of that help? You have that backing. She share your stuff, she tell people go and subscribe to him. Going to uh, see his videos. I mean, you have that extra backing. But Armand has been out here grinding, doing his thing. You know, hustling, getting stories, getting um, information together, stuff like that. But I'm just like, why the shade? And it's just like they're both kings at their own right. They're bloggers that do celebrity news. They have Their personalities are completely different. But why the shade? And Tasha, why you lying your smaller YouTubers up to come after people you have a problem with i noticed that a lot with you you will try to line them up you know they're going to take your advice your backing or they're going to feel like they have to defend you and then come out swinging and get some ish they don't even have no business getting into like i noticed that but yeah i think tasha miss armand i think armand misses tasha a little bit 
Tasha is is a she seemed like a cool person, baby. She just need to tone it down with the celebrity lies now, baby, just a tad. But yeah, I'm just like, why the shade? Why come after him? He doing his thing too. And Storm Monroe, I like Storm. I enjoy his commentary, but he's no competition for Armand Wiggins. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. They're two different levels of who they are. Um, Storm seems like he takes direction. You could sort of mold him. Armand, like, hell no, nah, I'm my own man. I'm my own person. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'll take direction now, but you're not going to sit there and dictate what goes on on my platform. You know what I'm saying? So I get that, get that from him. But I'm just like, why the shade? This is a brother that's still doing his thing. Still, you know, I don't like all the ish he says. But, I mean, he's still doing his thing, still working hard, still grinding, still getting the information he needs to for his platform to grow larger. And I also want to add daytime tea time, Candace. Now, i never forget this. Uh, Tasha K, she was pregnant. She was on her live. And I think someone asked her a question about a baby shower, or she did. And she just told a little bit about who was there, her close friends. And one of the persons she named was Candace. And I'm like, all right, cool. Not that they had a good relationship. Now, Candace... I think a year ago, uh, Candace did say something about someone um, hacking into her account, her phone, and her YouTube account. So, you know, she was venting to Tasha, letting her know, you know, what was going on. And Tasha was sort of like thinking she was coming at her. Like, I guess Tasha had a, like a guilty type of presence or whatever. And, and, not, and also Tasha's husband, according to Tasha, he works in IT. So I guess Candace was a little bit skeptical. And she was like, look, I don't trust none of these mother mm, until I know exactly what's going on, who's into my stuff. So instead of Candace waiting to stuff went down, your friend called you about some ish, I just wait, see what's going down. Candy, um, Tasha Kate got on there, wrote a message, bam. And, you know, it, it was off from now. Then she was shading Candace on the Wiley show and a couple of platforms saying that she's homely, she's very naive, um... She begged her basically for her friendship. She's a pick me, pick me type of girl. I'm like, wow, Candace has a dirty house. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I'm just like, wow, but y'all was once cool, but Candace hasn't once came out and said anything derogatory about Tasha K9, about her. So I'm just like, dang, like if she ain't speaking nothing about you, why even bring her up? But um, they did, well, it was. People were alleging that Candace sent um, Cardi B the information regarding uh, the lies about her husband getting somebody pregnant. But I don't know if that's why Tasha was trying to dog her. But we don't know if those allegations are true or not. But I was like, dang. But yeah, she was just dogging her out. And Candace, like, I like Candace. She seemed like she's doing her thing. Candace don't get into the grind with people. Candace knows how it works with people like Tasha K. Thirsty. 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 She starts beefs with people for her benefit. And also, even with smaller YouTubers, she'll go down to your platform, get your subscribers, hers, you know what I'm saying? And the people that you also bring into the threshold. But she knows how it goes, the back and forth. Candace wants to click some views. Well, not Candace. Tasha K wants to click some views. She wants the attention. Baby, they know how it's going to go with her. They know. So that's that's what she wants. But yeah. I was like, dang, y'all was once cool, and you gonna come at her like that? Tomorrow, the house nasty and hurt. You know, I was just like, a husband and stuff like that? No, that ain't cool. But Candace, I saw her community page. Candace looks good as hell. She's doing her thing. Uh, she seems like she's progressing with her career. Baby, she was looking good as hell, fine, fine as wine, baby. But yeah, she seems like she's doing well, and the best revenge is to do, is to do well, and she's doing that. So I was like, dang. Tasha, like you, something else, but yeah, but that whole Armand thing, I was like, why take digs? This is one person that you once, you know, y'all worked together or collaborated with, and you once trusted him in certain form. He trusted you a certain way, so why even try to take a dig at him or make him feel less than? And Armand, uh, he put a message on his community page. I'm gonna paraphrase it. It's like imagine the level of success if. If it's measured out of what you do, you know, I guess he's saying what others see him doing, she'll try to get, you know, Storm to try to do better up the ante regarding, you know, his success, his views, his people. But Armand has a cool ass personality that draws people to him. Storm does too, but Storm isn't as alluring 
as uh, Armand. Armand could bring you. He has you laughing, screaming, crying. But Storm just seems like a laid back, chill, cool guy. And, you know, that's how that cookies crumbles. But comment below. Peace.